All right, before we solve this problem, we need to understand what nested radical is all about. Radical is square root, to keep it simple. When we say it is nested, it means this is a smaller square root, having another square root, having another square root, having another one, just like that. That's what we call nested. It's also it's a word we use also in programming. All right. So what do we need to do in this case? Having gotten this preliminary understanding about a radical or nested radical, we need to solve this problem right now. Another thing I need to understand when I get there, I will tell you. This 4, I can replace it with 2 to the power of 2. Then the x has been there already. This is what I want to teach you right now. If I have square root of a, it's the same thing as a to the power of, the square root changes to 1 over 2. Keep that in mind. Irrespective of what I have in the square root, whether it is 50, it changes to 50 to the power of 1 over 2. Keep that in mind. So let's apply it right now. Square root of 2 is something as 2 to the power of 1 over 2. This other square root is also saying to the power of 1 over 2. That's what it means. Quite simple, right? All right, let's clear it. Let's clear off this one. 2 times x will be 2x equal to 2 to the power of 1 times 1 will be 1. 2 times 2 give off, gives us 4. Whenever the base are the same, equate the power. So I have 2 to the power of x, which is the uh, power, equal to 1 over 4. This is the same thing as over 1. So that we can cross multiply. If you cross multiply this, 4 times 2x gives us 8x equal to 1 times 1, 1. Divide both sides by 8. This cancels out. Therefore, x equal to 1 over 8. That's the solution to this problem. I hope you found this helpful. Please make sure to like this video, share it, and follow me for more so that I keep enjoying more of my videos. Peace and love.